I ever told that joke was on BBC Radio 4, and we got a complaint in from the National Gypsy Council. So I wrote back, of course, they moved on. Um, I... <laughs> Islamic fundamentalist sex dolls. Do they blow themselves up? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the big issue these days, a big controversial topic, is immigration. People don't want you to talk about immigration anymore, but I, I don't mind tackling the tough topics. I'll talk about immigration. I know what's going on in this country, yeah? Oh yeah, these Syrians coming over here, taking on Polish people's jobs. <laughs> I, saw a, uh, I saw a charity appeal recently, it was, um, it was uh, you know, one of these ones in the paper, the little half page in the paper thing. It said, it said, little Zuki has to walk 15 miles every day just to fetch water, I couldn't help but think, she should move. <laughs> Come on, Zuki, you live in my heart, that's mud by the river, build again, love, there's nothing tying you now. Um, here's a frightening fact, if you took all the money that we in the West spend on food in one week, you could feed the third world for one year. Now, I don't know about you good people, but I can help feel it. We're being overcharged for our groceries. <laughs> shit I've overheard in the real world. I was in a doctor's surgery, so opposite these two ladies in there, maybe early 60s, and then we were all sat there bored waiting for our appointments, and one of the ladies, just trying to st start a bit of a conversation, not trying to make a big political point, just looked down and copied the Times newspaper on the coffee table and went, start giving you famine on the cover of the paper, she went, this famine, it's terrible, isn't it? And her friend without skipping a beat went, yeah, but they don't get on winters. <laughs> Tiny bit of me, do you think? It does always look something. Um, I had another one. I was in a supermarket car park recently, walking back to my car, overheard these two men having a conversation, which was clearly going to be a fight, but it wasn't a fight yet. As I walked by, I just heard one man turn to another and go, You can't park in a disabled bay, you spastic. <laughs> my best friend's wife is having a baby. I said to him, I said, Would you want a boy or a girl? He thought about it and says, I wanted a blowjob. <laughs> what are you mournful? I mean, I get a blowjob off the missus. I don't know if you get this. I don't know if you get a blowjob off my missus. I don't know what your shoe buying budget is. The thing I like about, uh, about oral sex, I think the thing all men like about oral sex, nothing sexual, ladies, is actually the peace and quiet. <laughs> if you've ever been going down with a guy and he's gone, sexual ecstasy, that is not your incredible technique, that is the sound of a man not being asked a question. <laughs> I would think about adoption, I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I think I would have them adopted. <laughs> People criticise Angelina Jolie, but the kid she's adopted, fair trade. <laughs> I haven't got children, but I have made starts. Bought some puppies and a fan. <laughs> but I had a very awkward moment on stage recently while I was doing the show. Someone from right at the back of the room shouted, You're going to have children? I said, That's a perfectly reasonable question, but I don't want to feel bad for asking me, really, but my girlfriend and I actually can't have children. The way we do it. <laughs> Pornography. Uh, well, I'll come to that later. There's a real gender divide in porn. Like, like, there's a real gender divide. Like, men and women are all men are looking at porn these days, but in very different ways. Here's a fact women watch porn films to the end. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> to see if they get married. <laughs> My girlfriend said she didn't get porn. We had a proper, serious, sit down conversation about it, and she said she didn't get porn. She said, she said I don't get porn. I've never really got porn. Why would I want to watch two people have sex? I said, two. <laughs> People. <laughs> well, I've, I've looked at so much internet porn, the virus my computer has is HIV. <laughs> teenage boys must have been a lot. When I was a teenage boy, I had a soft call the dream catcher. <laughs> being blind that makes you want to walk the dog the whole time. <laughs> I'll double down. Who 
picks up guard dog shit. <laughs> you laugh, but no fucking knows. Um, I saw a guy, I was out recently, I was in the high street near where I live, I saw a guy with a, with a guide dog uh, and a white stick. So I went up to him, I said, I said, you must be blind. He said, tell me something I don't know. He says, there's a tree over there. <laughs> but challenging. Took me ages to get our husband's voice right. <laughs> Studying history, Canterbury. Treat this house like a hotel. I said, I have never 
snorted cocaine off a hooker's tits in this house. <laughs> that is a joke I've never made for sex. Which has upset a lot of prostitutes. <laughs> Sounds well. Um, um, Women ask weird questions. Well, in my experience, women have always asked weird questions. My girlfriend asked me recently, she said, which of my friends do you think is prettiest? Well, that's what she said. What I heard was, I fancy a fight. Because <laughs> I don't know much about women, but I know there is no correct response to the phrase, which of my friends do you think is prettiest? I thought, well, I might as well have fun. I'm going to be in trouble anyway. So I said, she said, which of my friends do you think is prettiest? I thought, well, Karen is pretty, but Maria, Maria does that thing with her tongue. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think the best thing about a big, passionate argument with the other half is tumbling into bed together afterwards and lying in cold room silence until the door. <laughs> you asleep? I can't sleep. I'm too full of hate. A couple of weeks ago, I failed to perform sexually. We're going to go into details. Suffice it to say, I arrived early. And my girlfriend said, don't worry, that happens to a lot of men. I said, right, a couple of things. Firstly, who are these lawmen? <laughs> and secondly, if it's happening to more than one of us, don't you think it could be your fault? <laughs> My girlfriend has fallen asleep during sex before. That is awkward. <laughs> but not as awkward as the time she woke up during it. <laughs> Hello, love. You're up early. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting on with a little bit of sex. Yeah. Make your cup of tea when I'm finished. That'll help get rid of the taste. <laughs> I thought it would be romantic to take my girlfriend back to where we first met, but she said, Don't make me go back to Mr. Jimmy, I'll call Kathleen, I'll be back. <laughs> I worry about that joke, is that just crazy lacism? <laughs> I think you're right, I think you're right to talk about accents and language, that's within the remit of modern comedy. I, I, I'll give you an example. I got talking to a North African girl in her native language for hours. We just clicked. <laughs> and now, this is quite hard to believe, given the kind of comedian that I turned out to be. But I didn't used to talk about sex at all, even with close friends. Very hard time, very repressed about the whole thing. Now, I'll talk to anyone about anything. Uh, here's an intimate detail, and I might share with the good people impressed at this evening. My girlfriend can't have orgasms during intercourse, but it's not a problem, because I can. <laughs> I gave my girlfriend an orgasm and she spat it back in my face. It's pretty intimate. Um, when my first girlfriend choked to death, it was a terrible blow. I, yeah. I had to finish myself off. Um, my girlfriend used to smoke after sex, so we started using lubricant. I was girl, obviously she said to me, she said, I want tonight to be magical. And it was. After I fucked her, I disappeared. <laughs> well, look, I've been watching on for about an hour, so we should probably have some sort of break. Now, a number comes up on the screen during the interval, so you can text me if you have a joke.